For this question, we're given an infinite series. So when we do an infinite series, there's always going to be a formula to it. For this geometric series, the formula is going to be S infinity, S stands for sum, and it's going to be equal to A1 over one minus R. A1 is going to be the first term of the series. We call it A1 because it's the first term of the series. And R is going to be that common ratio that we use to multiply to each new term. So R is going to be the ratio. Now, whenever you're given a ratio, you need to make sure that the absolute value of R, whatever number it is, is less than one. That way you get a series that converges instead of diverging. So let's try this one. I need to calculate the infinite series of the fraction one third raised to the n power. Now this bottom number is gonna be n equals one. So that's gonna be our starting point. And at the top, I'll put my infinity symbol. So the first term that we're gonna have is we're gonna let n be one, but we're gonna keep the fraction on the inside the same. So we get one third to the first power. Then I have to add one third raised to the second power. And then one third raised to the third power. And my exponent keeps on going up. And since this is an infinite series, I need to end with a dot, dot, dot. That means there's an infinite number of numbers that we're adding up. So now one third to the first power is going to give me one third. Anything to the one power is just gonna be itself. We have one third squared, which is just one third times one third. That's gonna give you one ninth. And then one third cubed, which is going to give you one over 27 where 27 is three cubed. And then I'll put my dot, dot, dot again. Well, to get this formula, we need to know what our first term is and we need to know what our common ratio is. So A1 is gonna be the first term in the series. That's gonna be one third. I got that from over here. That'll be our first term. And then R is gonna be the number that we're multiplying by each time to get to each new term. So if I had to go to one third to one ninth, what would I have to multiply one third by to get to one ninth? And what would I have to multiply one ninth by to get to one twenty seventh? So the number that we're multiplying each time is going to be one third. And you can think about it as dividing by three or multiplying by one third. So R is going to be one third. At the bottom of the fraction, I'm going to get one minus one third. So the top can stay the same for now, but on the bottom, one minus one third is going to give me two thirds. So now I've got a fraction divided by a fraction, which means I can flip the bottom fraction over and just multiply from there. So one third times three halves, we can cross out the threes and we're left with one half for our answer.